Hi everyone, in this video I'm just going to talk about what makes up the solar panel and the different type of solar cells you can buy. Now basically a solar panel like this one is made up of solar cells which are connected in a series circuit and a type of enclosure and this solar panel here is just two pieces of glass bonded together and this is to seal in the cells to keep them dry these solar cells and the cells are what actually uh, change the sunlight into usable electricity and these cells here are half a volt each so inside your panel you have these cells soldered in a series circuit and these make up the actual uh, voltage of the panel so so the more of these cells you have in series connected from positive to negative or negative to positive throughout the panel, the higher voltage you have inside of your solar panel. So this is the top side of the cell, and this it's called the sunny side, and this is the negative side of the cell. And if you flip it over to the back side, this is the positive side of the cell. And now you can see that there's these little strips of wire on here. These are called the tabbing wires. And these wires are, are what connects each cell together. So if you take a look, they have the same tabbing wires on the front and also on the back. So when you're looking to buy some solar cells off the internet, I'll just talk about there's a few different types of cells and a lot of different sizes. Now, the cells come... Um, Material-wise, in monocrystalline, polycrystalline, multicrystalline, they're the same, multicrystalline and polycrystalline, and amphorous silicon. And now this one here is a multicrystalline cell, also called a polycrystalline, and you can get these in also monocrystalline. Now the monocrystalline are uh, uh, more efficient. So if you're looking to make uh, the most efficient panel, you'd want to buy the monocrystalline. And they're going to cost you a little bit more. Usually a monocrystalline cell um, has an octangular shape to it. This cell here has three bus bars on it. And you can get these cells with only two. And also, um, the cells can come tabbed or untabbed. And what I mean by that is this wire here on top of this bus bar is called the tabbing wire and it's just a thin wire that's soldered to the actual contact of the cell. There's many different sizes of solar cells out there. This one here is a full size cell. It's six inch by six inch but you can also buy these cells in three by six, five by five, two by three, one by three, one and a half by two, one by six, three by six. Now, they're the sizes that I've seen uh, so far, but there could be some others. Now, also you're going to see full-tabbed, short-tabbed, or non-tabbed cells online. And I'll just talk a little bit about this. Now, this cell here has no tabbing wire on it, so it's a um, non-tabbed cell. It would be then either a brand new cell um, that has no tabbing wire on it, so no connections, no bus bar connections between the cells. And this one here is a short tabbed cell. And the reason for that is it has been tabbed, but it's been cut short. Now, they were cut short because they were taken apart from um, a panel or array of cells that didn't meet um, inspection. Uh, the colors were wrong or, or a tab came unsoldered. And so these were cut up and then sold as short tab cells. And then you can also get full tab cells. Now full tab cells come with the tabbing wire um, soldered on the, the cell. And it'll extend out all the way so that you can connect your next cell. And either they'll come soldered on the sunny side, the top side of the cell, or the back side, or... Um, vice versa they'll have them half on the top and half on the bottom so you can just join them together easily and and now this one here is the cell I'm gonna be uh, showing in my video it's a short tab cell and what I'm doing is I'm just joining them together 
um, and then extending uh, where I need to extend to connect in my bus bars. Now, determining the type of solar cell to purchase for your homemade panel. Now, this all depends on what you're going to be using your panel for and how large of a panel you want to build. Now, if you want to build a panel this size that can charge a car battery, you're going to need smaller cells. And if you have the half size cells, the three by sixes, then you could do that because each cell is half a volt. You have to remember that. And so I recommend if you're going to build your first panel to start off with a smaller cell. Also, you should purchase a fully tab cell or a short tab cell. Now with the fully tab cells, you'll have to connect one of the tabbing, extended tabbing wires onto either the top of the cell bus bar or the back side of the cell. So you're still going to have to solder um, and make one connection. If you buy your, your uh, cells with all the tabbing wire soldered on the sunny side, then you can just solder onto the back side of, of your other cells. And that makes it so that you don't mess up the sunny side of the cell. Um, but these short tab cells, which I'm going to be showing in my video, these are actually really easy to work with um, because all you're doing is joining them together. And when you join them together, um, all you have to do is just solder, re-solder these connections back to the next cell. Um, so from the sunny side to the positive side, the back side of the cell, you're just going to reconnect them. And these can be a, even easier than a fully tab cell, uh, but you will have to extend some of these wires out to connect into your uh, series circuit. Now also, you will have some wire. And this wire here, this is called tabbing wire. And this wire, it's a flat wire which has solder. Some of it has solder on it and some comes without solder. And this wire here is what connects your cells together. This connects the negative sunny side to the positive side of your next cell. And now I'm going to show you. Now this here is the bus bar wire. This is a heavier wire. It's similar to this wire here but it's used for making the bus bar connections. And this is where you tie all your cells in together to build your series circuit. This one here that I'm using in my panels is a full size cell. It's, it's six inches by six inches. Now the particular cells I'm using, they are half a volt, four watts. Now these are rated uh, at four watts maximum. So the maximum amount of wattage you can get out of the cell is four watts. Now when they talk about this they're talking about um, the optimal uh, sun, the hottest sun, um, so you have to take that in consideration. Now in my next video I'm going to be showing how to solder these short tab cells together and to build a homemade solar panel from scratch. Thank you for watching.